right, guys, here's a quick tutorial on how you can trim and crop your videos um, in some pretty cool ways. So I'll just build my own. For this, I'm just going to do a 16 line. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a video from my uploads and then I'm going to trim and crop that to only be a little part of it. So I'll bring the video over and I delete this text and my logo. For the purposes of this I'm going to have the video crop to screen. Alright, so a quick preview. So we still don't have really granular control. You can see my mouse moving on the scenes. But if you go to your last scene and it's a video. So about nine seconds in, it goes over here and it points out some things just in this little area over here. So I'm just going to highlight how to, to trim and crop just that part out. So over here on your video edit part, you have both crop and trim right here. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. So I'm going to trim the part I want first. When you're in the trim section, you can play it and watch this little bar move so you can see where you want to trim. So I'm going to trim when I start to focus in this area over here, this little area, which I can see is right at 9 seconds. And then and then background music so you have then you do have control over it up to the maximum of what it is already set and then i move way over here so i'm going to do about 20 the, from 9 to 25 seconds you can it's down here it says play trim section only i'm going to do that so i'm going to change this to 9 um, if you're not sure right in here you can watch this part down here it makes it really easy to trim right to where you want and how long it is so now it's a minute 17 i'm going to bring this down to around 25 And now I know I have a 16 second clip right there. Now if I press play, it'll only play that part so I can see if it's what I want. You can actually turn the volume right here. It's on volume off by default. And if you look down here, if you turn the volume on, you'll get the volume controls for both this video, which is the top one, which I'll turn to zero. And then background. Sometimes you'll want to use this with the audio. Sometimes you'll want to take the audio out and just type things, If it, depending on the type of tutorial you're doing or what it is you're trying to highlight. But for the purposes of what I'm doing, that works fine. So I'm going to say done, and it's just going to leave me this part. Okay, so now if I preview it, you can see it's only the 16 seconds that the, it clipped the video down to. So it changed the scene duration for me to fit this video. Now the only thing is I really don't want the whole thing. I only want a part of that. So now we're going to do crop. So in the crop tool, you can move the crop around and you can resize it. By default, it's going to be the ratio, it's going to be a certain ratio. There you go. It's going to be the 16 by 9 ratio right now, so it'll keep it that way. But that doesn't really allow me to select the part I want. Okay, so over here, it's locked right now because that's not light lit up. But if you click it, it's unlocked and now you're no longer constrained by a certain ratio. So you can actually move this to be any size you want. So I'm going to make it much more focused on this area over here. Around right there. And then you can still move it where you want. I'm going to probably put it right there. And then I'm going to say done. And now it's it's going to be bigger and it probably will be blurry depending on the quality of the original video and all that. But I'm going to resize this to be fit with transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually resize it to be more along the lines of what size it is. Then you can put it wherever you want. You can add text. Uh, I like to, you know, if I'm doing something like this, I want to add a background. You can just search for background under videos or images, and you'll find lots of good ones. Uh, definitely more so under images. I'm going to do uh, see if I can find this one. <laughs> Little stars in there. Let's do this. Oh, that's why I didn't find it. I spelled background wrong. If you spell background properly, 
then you'll actually find good background pictures and videos. So these are much better. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this one and bring it over. You can, you can resize it however you want. I'm going to just make this one like that. I'm going to go to layers and bring my, my video back into the forefront. Just center it like with the grid lines real easy right there, that line in the middle. And then I would, I, like I said, I'd, I'd probably add some text or something over here on the side. It really depends on how you want to do it. But if we preview this now, you can see it's the 16 seconds. But it's only the 16 seconds I want over here. You can still hear the volume, the audio for that, it shows the video. So that was the 16 seconds of that clip that I, I cut out. You can do however you want. Some of the other things I'd probably do to, to make the, the whole thing better, I'd have this image zoom in or zoom out probably on the in-place animation. Uh, you could, one of the things I like to do is, I, what baby? Okay, a couple more minutes, let me finish this and I'll change it. One of the things I like to do is add a border to things that don't have one, like this is very sharp, just cuts off right here. So an easy way to do that is with shapes. So if you grab this rectangle, you can shape it to whatever you want. So it's above this right now, so I'm just going to put it, make it a little farther on each edge, and then drag it down and do the same down here. And once you've got it, I'm going to make it black, and I'm going to change the layer so that it's behind the video. Now it's a, a border, and I can either move it or the video. The video is already where I want it, so I'm going to move the border to be how I want it. Uh, it'll snap automatically and that can make it sometimes hard to change to move where you want. If you hold the control key, you see those lines go away and now you have more control over how you move it without it trying to snap. So I think right there. If I click off of it, now you can see I have that border. Instead of black, I'm going to make it more of a dark gray, and I'm going to add some transparency to it, meaning let things see through. So you can kind of see the, the background moving behind it still, but there's a definite border there, so it's not just a cutoff. Um, there's also like rounded rectangles in there. If you search through, you can find other things. They don't have to be perfectly square borders. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. You can animate the border as well. Uh, for this one, just, just for effect, just for the fun of it, we'll have it bounce into place. One second and uh, duration is fine. And then on the video itself, we'll do a, an animation with that as well. We'll have it bounce into place as well. But what we'll do is we'll have the border bounce into place pretty quickly at 0.5. And then we'll have the video bounce into place at 1. Now let's go ahead and check it out. You can actually turn the volume right here. It's on volume off by default. And if you look down here, if you turn the volume off, so you get an idea of what it looks like. I'd probably make the border a little darker. You, you don't have to do any of that. Those are just, just extra options. But now you've seen how to trim. Let me stop this. Now you've seen how to trim and crop the video. And, uh, and add a border to things real easy. The layers make it so easy to do these things. Um, when you have backgrounds like this, like this image right here is actually the background. Once you've got it how you like it, I'd lock it. And then you can't accidentally click it and drag it. Uh, early on, I would be trying to pick, click something and I would drag the background and then I'd have to fix it or move it and it would get frustrating. But use the locks back here. Things you know are perfect exactly where they are, lock them and then you won't be able to move them anymore. So if I lock that border, I can't accidentally click it and move it. I can move the video, but the border stays. And then if I hold control, I have granular control to put this exactly in the middle how I want without it trying to snap to something. Uh, one other thing about the granular control is if you use the keyboard, the up, down, left, right arrows, you can do those as well to move any object. That comes in really handy as well.
All right, I hope you learned something. Let me know if you liked it, and keep building videos.